have it here. Meet my friend the vacuum cleaner. I mean, I know, not the most exciting thing that one can deal with, but this thing has a problem. It runs on a chargeable batteries, and I think they're kaput. Because uh, what, you, what happens when you put it on is that you can run it, but it'll run only for about one minute, and then you'll get this red blinking light. So I thought we'd take it apart and um, see if we can um, find out what battery pack it's using and maybe swap it out. Well, let's get into it. So I took the unit of interest and um, I suppose the, we should try and get into it. Um, there's one screw and then there's three more I suppose. same screws on. So let's those out. Let's see what happens. Nothing. <laughs> where this part sits. But it's also got some kind of a ceiling thing that goes around. So one hasn't got much choice. Does one need... To? Now if I rip that off it's gonna break. I can see where, they, where it's been sitting, the other part. I don't think I have much choice than to cut that. Even though this doesn't seem to be coming apart anyway. But if I'm going to split the halves then... That can't be glued on there. So, anyway. The knife and that. Try and cut it, I suppose. Not that I really like doing this, but... I don't think that one has much choice. Yep, that worked. Because then one at least avoids completely wrecking it. I 
no, I think those two screws need to come out. I just have a feeling that that's the good. Let's see, is it the same? Let's try. the battery pack. Mm. 
And then it has a temperature sensor on the side of it, I think. It's like taped on. This came from. Okay, next step is to clean it up a bit. So that's a bit cleaner at least. Not perfect, but mm. so let's um I'd like to get this out. Oh, that's loose. Wow. Whoa! Well that's nice. Would have been cool to know that when I was cleaning it. And by the way, this tab that I saw. This one here. It actually comes from the other side. It's one of these. I don't know why they included those. This one is also like coming off. Is that if they can be confused with each other. So I would actually like to disconnect. Um, oh, let's open this up here. See which ones I need to actually disconnect. Because I want it off. Or actually, this probably. Okay, that's the charging thing there. And this also comes off, so I could basically... Oh, I think I'd like to disassemble a little bit more. Dust can have an impact. So I'm thinking I'm going to take a pen and mark those. So I'll take a, a sharpie and then Crossed. 
So, it's the motor off, so now I can actually clean that a little bit better than what I did. And the same with the case. Once I get that disconnected, so I want to disconnect all the wires. They're coming from the case, and are they all different number of pins? So now I kind of mark the connectors so that when I put them back, I will actually recognize which is which. Ah, they do actually have a different number of connectors. Okay, is that going to get messed up with the other? There are two cables. Oh, there's two with two. They have really crammed a lot of connectors in. Of course, it would be a good idea to take photographs of but that won't be blown because it's still working and it's to protect the main current from coming from the battery <sighs> that's temperature sensing And it needs to measure the voltage over the battery. Oh, it has got quite a lot more connections to the battery than I thought it would have. Sensing stuff, so that's temperature voltages. Well, this must be in series.
So anyway, that's the battery pack. Plastic already. Something still holding. I don't know what. It's a bit tricky to get open. I know one of them. Pads came off. Damn. Still holding this pad. Still holding up the other. Did I put some glue on it?
There shouldn't be anything holding it. If they haven't put glue in there. Because those wires don't hold it. And I'm disconnected in the middle. So what in the world is still holding it? Bridges in the is that going over plastic? That wouldn't make sense. So it's like jumping over a bridge of plastic. Uh, that's not so nice. That means where they soldered, or where they, the battery is connected, in, in place. Done the same trick on the other side also. This is going to make getting the battery cells separated a, lot, a little bit more difficult. Probably just to make it more difficult to change them out. around batteries. No, oh, but there is nothing there. Oh, there's tabs. Oh, it's getting caught on the plastic tabs. So there's plastic tabs in there, like part of the mold. But they, anyway, they must have been assembled in situ. So anyway, those need to be, so they just have to be cut then. Suck. Well, I'm going to be changing this out anyways. Yes, it will. 
So I think I have to cut the other side just. around with tools, metal tools around batteries. So they could have made it safer for the consumer by not encapsulating it in this way. Oh, have they made wire wraps around so I can't actually take them off. So they're all kind of wrapped into the to the structure. Sucks, but um, I have to cut these wires. There's really no, no other way to do it. So, so far, well, yeah. I try. sorry, I was going to show all the batteries, then I realized they might actually short circuit themselves. <laughs> uh, yuck. Yeah. So they might know. Out. all the cables off. So, so far, hmm, makes me think if this is worth it. 
So now for the bad news, I went online and um, look at these uh, rechargeable batteries. It's like uh, wait, 3.6 volts, uh, 2.2, 2,200 milliamps approximately. Brand Samsung, and um, I was looking at, looking at the ones that already had this kind of pre pre put on um, uh, connector and um, the set of these good quality ones was seventy dollars ah, let's this is not exact um, conversion rate but let's say seventy dollars US and around the same in Euros and um, if I took a bit cheaper models with a not so nice connector and welded on then it would be about sixty <laughs> Now, um, this vacuum cleaner uh, retails officially around $140, 140 euros. Um, I mean, you can get it on sale for maybe 130 125 something like that, if you wait. And there are uh, other models that are <laughs> less expensive than the brand Bosch, of course. <laughs> So if one goes into that realm then. So anyway, I had a little bit of a discussion in the family sphere as to if we're going to invest $70 on this or 70 euros. And the decision was that we won't invest in, new bat in, in the new batteries. I mean, the other reason is that this, of course, has devalued a bit because the, um, you know, the, the motor has been used, the electronics. So it could be that I change the batteries and use it for six months and then something else breaks. So. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll still upload this video because I think it might somebody who would like to be able to know how to take it apart or they would like to look at um, frames to get reference how the batteries were inserted or, 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 or just general information about it. But I'll, I'll add it into the title this was a, this was a repair fail. And, uh, but anyway, that's what happens sometimes. It's not financially viable to fix this fix this stuff. But anyway, if you like this video, um, even if it ended this way, then um, consider hitting the like button, um, hit the subscribe button, I'll be trying to fix other stuff in the future, maybe it'll make more economic sense to do. I mean, of course I'll have parts, I mean, I'm going to actually uh, keep, keep some of the motor, for example, I'll keep, and, um, I don't know if I'll keep the electronics, that's pretty generic stuff. But I might actually test these batteries and see if I can keep them. Uh, yeah, I have um, merch available, or if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, that's perfectly okay also. Uh, links are in the description, and um, I'll see you in the next one.